Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm out here. We're doing it. We're killing it. Doing the grind. Getting the game going. I can't wait. Today we have to go against Kahuna Hala. Because there ain't no Hala back, girl. We out here. Um, I don't know. That was just the most random intro ever. But we're going to go ahead and do a team recap. As we got a new member to the squad last episode. So if you guys didn't check it out, you guys better check it out. It was actually was a fairly short episode to my knowledge. I think it was like 23, 23 minutes. So like we were doing pretty good on that. We got Pop of the level 18, Trumbeak with Dark Pulse, Roost, Dizzy Punch, and Play Rough. We got Green Bird with Searing Shot, Psy Beam, Hex, and Sacred Fire. We got Machamp with our um, Daddy the Machamp with Brick Break, Storm Throw, Snatch, and Cotton Guard. We got Jonas, the... Girder. I was about to say Kinkelder, but it'll be a Kinkelder soon enough with Seismic Toss, Protect, Magnitude, and Low Kick. And lastly, we got Zayden, the Mega Swapper with Long Reach, his ability with Thunder Punch, Shadow Sneak, Steamroller, and Waterfall. So, how have you guys been doing today? That's the real question. I've been doing perfectly fine, as you can see. We're doing another recording today. Uh, I'll probably am only going to do two, um, only because I really want to stream. I've got some editing to do, um, and I just I can't wait. So... We're taking out Kahunahala, and obviously Kahunahala is a little bit of a scary, scary, scary friend. Um, just because he's going to be level 16 across the board. So we are pretty trained up for him, as I think 18 is our lo our lowest mon, which is perfectly fine. Like, nothing really we can do about that. Also, Tam's a randomized. I totally could have gotten and fought him. But can I actually skip you? Pro Aha! I love how I can literally skip, like, every trainer in this game and be okay. Because, like, even with our <laughs> level boost... Like, the XP share is just so broken. And that's something I think I didn't know last time when we did this originally. Like, I didn't know how broken the XP share actually was. And I still want to create a challenge for myself. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we have some fun things to talk about in the Kahuna Hala battle. Especially about somebody who I would love to soul link with in the future. Because, you know, gotta love soul links. It's the only thing that I haven't done on my channel at the current moment. Well, actually, that's... A you know what I mean? So I think that's not on my channel at the current moment. Not That's what I mean to say. Not that I haven't done it before. Because obviously I've done a Soul Link before. But I really want a Soul Link with somebody who actually also hasn't done a Soul Link. Um, or, or does not. Jeez, I can't talk today. Um, so we neither of us have a Soul Link going on. There we go. There we go. That's 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 what I was going to say. It's not that they haven't done one. Because I actually don't know if they've done one or not. I think they he did it already with somebody. But... Who knows? I really, once we talk to Kunahalo and have the scariest battle of our life, and during the scariest battle of our life, we will talk about this because I'm sure you know who it is. Actually, if you guys have been on the channel a long time, you might not know who it is because I haven't talked about this person ever, like, really much. So, ho, 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 I've been expecting you. Allow me to properly greet the young, adventurous, and barking on their island challenge. I am Hall Kahuna of the Melee Melee Island. Shall we begin? The final trial is here on Melee Melee Island. Will be a Pokemon battle against me, the Kahuna. Well, John, you have been entrusted with the Sparkling Stone by Tapu Koko. Now show me and your partner, Trumbeak, your team's power. Old Hollow here will be going all out. Let the grand trial begin. Boom. I'm glad I didn't change the important turn. Anyway, so... Actually, I kind of, the person who I'd want to collab with right now, like, if we're talking about, like, in the future, or, like, bigger YouTubers that I would love to collab with. <gasps> okay! That's a primal Kyogre. Why? I literally am talking about how I want to do a Soul Link with... Benny, original 151, literally about to talk about it, and we get freaking a primal Kyogre that we have to fight now. Okay, anyway, the reasons why I would love to collab with Benny is one, and the reason why I would do a soul link with Benny, because I, what I do, right, is I tend to think of soul, or like, series that would, or I see series all the time, and it makes me mad. Series that would be beneficial for the both of us. So, Soul Link is one of them that uh, neither of us have a project of that going on right now. So, that's beneficial. And then, the other thing, too, is it would allow me a Soul Link. And one thing I loved about doing a Soul Link with Papa when I did it with Papa Agron. Yeah, I collabed with UI legend Papa Agron. 
So, uh, but the reason why is because it, a soul link, you get to work collectively together and you guys get to like, get to know each other a lot more on an interpersonal level. And if I want, if I were going to do a series with one of the bigger YouTubers in the game, like some of the best in the business, it would be, I would rather have a series where I'm connecting with them on an interpersonal level without having the stress of, you know, because there's a lot of stress when you're doing a versus and a cage lock. You have a lot of mental thinking and mental, um, a lot of your mental capacity is going towards the game. Um, and it does make it a lot harder. Oh my God, why do you have that? Anyway, um, so it does literally, it creates this environment in which I get to know who I'm recording with the most. And now you may be asking, well, what about, ver uh, you know, versus Beegers and Cage Lock with Aaron? Why, like, do you, yeah, no, I still get to develop these amazing interpersonal relationships with them as well. It's just, and I just, I kind of am finding things that kind of fit the personality of who I'm recording with because I want to make sure that they enjoy what we're doing as well as I enjoy what we're doing. And it's like versus Beegers and I are very competitive as people. We love the race, the fast aspects, the high pace energy and everything else in our, in the series. And I think that's been one of the big things in our series. Like we can, we have the energy to literally go all out and spam like 8,000 different things that are going on in our head at the given moment. And it creates that kind of a synergy. Jeez, Louisa. Uh, luckily, we get rid of this Kyo Primal Kyogre. Oh, no. Super potion. Anyway. So, like... And then with Aaron, Aaron and I are very methodical. We It's a completely different tone. Which, I love the tone that is, like, being displayed in that series as well. Like, we're competitive in a different way. But we're so chill and we're so lax. Oh, I thought that was a... I thought that was a Z move. I thought that was a Z move. Oh, 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 oh my god. I thought we were about to get wrecked. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, so with Vinny, one, Vinny and I... Oh, that's a lit. That's nothing. Okay. Um, I could see Vinny and I literally, like, getting to know each other a lot while working together so that, like, nothing is a fault of anybody else's. Um, two, we, Vinny and I, we have the upload date. So if we were going to do like four episodes a day, like our four episodes a day, holy shit, four episodes a week, um, then, uh, it would be like, he would get, mm, I would get Monday and Thursday. Nope. He would get Monday and Thursday and I would get Tuesday and Friday because he doesn't have any projects going on on Monday or Thursday. At the, oh, nope, that's a fat lie. He has his 2v2 episode on Thursday. We'd have to figure out a like a upload schedule for it, I guess. Um, because that just threw a wrench in my entire like logical thought process. Why did I think he had Tuesday episodes? Like That's literally Ryan. Ryan has Tuesday episodes. My brain is not here, but that's okay. We're talking about Vinny, and so my brain doesn't have to be here to talk about Vinny because he's amazing. And just bringing up Vinny's name makes it that much better. So, anyway... So, wait. So, if he's Thursday, what? So, I would be Monday and Thursday. But, ah, uh, no. It'd be, like, I don't know. It'd be a weird upload schedule, but we'd figure it out. I know we could. Um, we could even do, like, Saturday or Sunday, like, episodes because... Oh, no. Yeah, no. I could do Saturday or Sunday episodes. So, like, what? It would be Monday... Wednesday, Friday, Saturday? I don't know. That's a weird upload schedule. I don't know what's coming out because I'm too busy trying to think of an upload schedule for a hypothetical series with Vinny, but that's okay. Um, I just, it's honestly though, like, and a soul link is just, to, I love the aspect of a soul link. I love the cooperative aspect, and I'm so glad I switched into Green Bird. I love the cooperative aspect of a soul link because. You're working together to meet a common goal, right? So, honestly, a soul link is one of my favorite um, Nuzlocke variants. I would say after that, uh, I, I kind of like them all, honestly. 
And I also, like, I love the fact that I created my own Nuzlocke variant. Like, it's cool to, like, have your base. This is literally something that's never been done before. And I said, screw it, we're doing it. Basculin, huh? Um, we got Zayden. So, it's really just, it's weird to me, right? Because, like, for me... Yeah, I'm a very innovative person. I want to be or create things that have never been done before. That's my that's my favorite kind of series, doing things that have never been done before. And well, here we are talking about doing a Soul Link with Vinny while doing something I've never done before. Like what? And the fact that I've collabed with a UI one of like or one of a UI legends, like that was his first ever collab. Um. It's kind of cool, too, to think about it. Because, like, right now, Papa is a big UI legend. And it's... Like I said, it's really cool because, like... that's It hits so close to home, right? Like... I don't know. Like... I think that's what makes it really cool. It's like, when something like that happens... Like, when Vinny talks about Papa or says something to Papa... I'm like... Bruh. I literally collabed with Papa before. Like, this is weird. Like, I can literally, like... Icar right there... Uh, it probably showed like six different times, but like That's the series I did with Papa um, So that people are not like you're just lying because you know, you definitely just want to get the upper hand It's like no, I, I wouldn't do that. I don't want to get the upper hand like honestly Hey, it's a big Uzi. Um Because why 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 would I lie to get an upper hand like that's not I know people like say that and this that the other and if people want to say that like I don't they don't say it about me obviously but like I know people could say that and if they wanted to whatever cool they can they can pretend like I do that but there's evidence and proof that I did a collab with Papa so gotta love them I cards um but yeah also I'm probably gonna put Vinny in the I card too because I literally talked about him the entire like half the episode so you know we gotta love when we talk about like people who like you look up to and everything else like like, my number one look up to was Shady Penguin. Obviously, that's never going to change. Electric Terrain, what a weird move. Like, that will never change. Like, Shady has always been my inspiration when it comes to this stuff. Like, to the Pokemon aspect of things. Uh, my original aspiration was actually to check a Conroy. And, because I wanted to be a Let's Play YouTuber, right? And I had to figure out a way to narrow that down. Make it so that I'm... Se more centralized so that people know what they're coming for. Obviously, sometimes I'll be doing stuff like that, like Madden and stuff like that, because I love football. I love those games. Like, those are my kind of my favorite sports. So, obviously, I'm going to show you guys what I love because it's a channel and we all are together as a group and, you know, we got to love it. We got to love what we do. Because um, if you don't love what you do, what are you doing? Like, plain and simple. If you don't love what you do, then what are you doing? Because. Honestly, and I'm not talking about this as a job sense because, like, if you look at it in a job sense, obviously people have to do what they have to do to survive and thrive. Um, but, like, hobby-wise especially, like, if you don't enjoy it, find a new hobby. Find something that you will enjoy, something that will fulfill your happiness and make, make your days faster. Like, when I record and days that I record, my days feel like they have only been like 40 minutes and then i'm like oh well i guess it's time for bed why not so i don't know that's one thing that i would advise for everybody like make sure that you guys are putting in the effort and uh, what you love because it, you, it never hurts to try it never hurts to be motivated about something that you love like you you obviously love it for a reason pursue it um we get to actually ride the tauros now uh, but yeah, that would be my words words of advice with John 14 minutes into an episode. This is actually going to be a really short episode because what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just do the man time surf tag and end it because, oh wait, no, 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 that's a lie. That's a lie. We can get an encounter. Ha, we got that. Okay. I'm down with that. We can get two encounters here because we get the one in the cave and the one outside. So we down, we down for that. Um, and then, then I'll end the episode, and then we'll do the man time surfing. So what I'll do is I'll probably just in the next episode I'll just kind of cut all the unnecessary walking because there's literally a, there's a whole bunch of unnecessary walking from like where I'm at now to there. But um, because like I want you guys to have the best experience you can, and 
I'm sure you don't want to watch me walk from like one place to the other, encountering like eight billion different mods because I didn't buy repels because I didn't really care because it's not a versus. Um, <laughs> it's a gen lock. So, anyways, when we continue to talk, I like how I keep looking at my screen, but it's actually cool because like my screen is actually where my webcam is, so like it actually works. It actually makes sense, but. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's just one of those interesting things that my brain just goes off of on this weird tangent. Um, but yeah, no. That, the title of this video is probably going to be like, I want to collab with that original 151 one. Or at, like, I can see that. Mega Drain. I forgot. I keep forgetting they're randomized. <laughs> I literally talked about that earlier in this episode. Like, by the way, they're randomized. Um, I guess. So Mega Drain, huh? Dude, it's... Okay. So... I, I need to I need to kind of fall back on this. So <laughs> this is the first time I've actually successfully made Gen 7's TMs randomized. So <laughs> in my head I was expecting to get something like, trash, but like Mega Drain's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. It's something I can live with. Um. Oh, if I were to collab with Vinny, what game would we do? I want to do Gen. I I would do Gen 4 with Vinny. Um. Or Gen 3. Gen 3 or Gen 4. Because I know. Vinny hates the new games. Like, I don't know. It's probably just like a, it's a running gag too. So it's not just like he just entirely hates them. But like, I would rather do something that he's comfortable with that I know I like too. So like Diamond and Pearl would be, I think, my preferred games if I were to do a Soul Link with Vinny because Gen 4 is my favorite generation. Um, and it always has been. I grew up. My first game I played was Pokemon Blue, as you guys know. So, yes, technically speaking, I'm a Gen 1-er. My first game was Gen 1, but my first game I ever beat was Gen 4 because I kind of, I was a, I was a dumb little kid. Um, I didn't know how to save the game. The one thing that I didn't know, how to save the game. Um, but then, um, in 7th grade, I didn't even beat Blue yet either because my, I was on one of those free game websites <laughs> where they had the game and I got all the way to Sabrina and the game completely crashed and I was so sad because it wouldn't let you save unless it like paywalled you to save and I was like I'm not gonna get paywalled because I don't like that's not who I'm gonna be like one I'm not gonna if I were to need to get paywalled to save I would have just like you know bought the actual game um but then you know things happen and now, now you don't have to worry about that. And so I did beat Gen 1. Gen 1 has officially been beaten. 10 Carrot Hill. Um, do I just... I can just be like this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Our encounter for 10 Carrot Hill. Plop, please, please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. That's dupes! That's dupes! That's dupes! That's dupes! Oh my god. I, for a second, was like, are you kidding me? It's a freaking Dunsparce. And I just realized that's dupes. Let's go! I think that's the happiest I've ever been to see a Dunsparce. <laughs> gonna lie happiest i've ever seen to see a dunsparce was in today's episode where i realized i didn't actually have to catch it so let's see what our actual encounters hopefully this is different a horsey well that's gen one we'll take it not something we can add to the team but we will take it I, I don't think it'll ever be on the team because well let's see we have a champ nido king and a freaking mega mewtwo in the box i just it's just it's just not happening it's not happening, Captain. Um, it's just definitely... It's, I know for a freaking fact that this thing is never coming out of the box. But, hey, we got to catch it for the dupes, right? Um, which I think we can actually do that very easily because it's horsey and it won't actually be a problem. Let's go! We love Pokemon that just want to get caught like instantaneously. It makes my life so much easier. This episode is going to be like 20 minutes and that's it. Oh my god. They're going to be like, wow, this episode was really quick. What happened? Uh, <laughs> hey, I mean, that means it's less for people to have to watch for me to talk about Vinny and collabing with him. Um, I'm going to name you Lowe's because why not? <laughs> like, I, like oh, that's the first thing that comes to my head. Freaking Lowe's, the freaking store. Lowe's is the first thing that comes into my head when I see that Pokemon. You know what? I'm not even going to question it because whatever, right? Um... Oh my god. We are out here. We're vibing out here today. Um, I, I still can't believe that that was the first name that came to my head. Freaking Lowe's. Hey, it's Aaron's favorite Pokemon. 
Guys, just so you know, Aaron's favorite Pokemon is definitely not Cubone, but it's his mascot. Oh my god, it has Drought. That would be an amazing Pokemon. Holy crap. Luckily, we can run away from it. Because um, it probably has Flare Blitz. And Flare Blitz in the sun, just not a great idea. Um, but yeah, so... What gens do we need left? Gen... Gen 4 would be great. Uh, I think that's actually one of the gens that we actually have the ability to catch. We have a team of five. So the, the opportunities that we have are generation... I just realized when C when Cedra evolves into Kingdra, that's Gen 2. Oh, so technically it's a Gen 2 one. Okay, maybe it will get used. Because Kingdra... I shouldn't even be complaining because Kingdra is not even a bad mon. Um, it's just funny that I keep running into the freaking same gen. I think that's that's been the thing that's aggravating me the most is the same gen BS. Um, a poison barb, held item. Please take that held item away. So I, yeah, that's that's my biggest thing because in a gen lock, having the same gen is terrible because it's like backups for stuff, and backups are great when you don't have a hundred thousand of them <laughs> like honestly like i it's not the fact that i have backups that is making me mad it's that i have a hundred thousand of them that i'll never utilize like that's my fifth gen two mon technically speaking because i will get the dragon scale at some point i know it we found a burn hill those are definitely useful uh yeah like i said that's frustrating that's a fifth gen two uh, or maybe the sixth, actually. Well, our encounter in here, though. Are we going to get a team of six, finally? Nope. We are going to go through the entire first island and still not have a team of six. Woo! We love that. We love going through the entire island without having a team of six. <laughs> like, really? I'm very surprised. Like, again, this is another Gen 5 mod. So, Gatita is not bad. I actually... Well, no, I wouldn't replace it because... Gothita's got a freaking doesn't evolve until later but we i have a name for this because uh let's just say i had i know somebody who kind of likes french maids and i know that's a random thing to say but i know this person likes french maids so we're gonna name this nick the gothita because nick's gonna be very happy that we named it after for the french maid um Let's see. Let's go ahead and see Nick's summary. We can kind of see what Nick's got. Nick's got stall. Great. We love having a terrible ability. With Trick, Ominous Wind, Rock Tomb, and Volt Switch. Woo! Best abilities ever. So we are definitely going to send it to the box because, oh my god, it's trash. And I know this episode kind of went all over the place. Let's go ahead and check the ability for Lowe's, even though we're never not going to use it right now. I can't say never going to use it because that's a lie. Cloud9. Oh, we knew that. I don't know why I did that. But yeah. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I want to make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We're so close to 700, and I think we can do that very, very soon. I love you all so much. Peace!